In Fracture 1.8, we implemented interior face displacement for your fragments. Let's have a quick look how we can set this up. So I have here a simple demolition uh, simulation of a model that I downloaded from the internet. Uh, in another tutorial, I will explain you how I did this from start uh, to finish from uh, the destruction process to actually rendering it. But in this tutorial, I will, I will just want to briefly show you how to set up interior, uh, interior face displacement. You will see here in this simulation that the uh, fragments look a little bit rigid or they, they look a little bit stiff because uh, the inside is very flat. So let's have a look how we can fix this and make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so here we have the simulation. <clears throat> so let's have a look at uh, some of these fragments and how we can change them. So let's work on the break geonode of the main rotunda, which is the piece of geometry at the top that breaks apart. So if you scroll to the bottom now of that break geonode, you will see that there is interior phase displacement. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is still a, a beta version uh, of 1.8. We'll probably change the name a little bit, but you know it will be pretty obvious what it is. So we're going to enable it, and we're going to set it to fragments only. Okay. So what I need to do now is I need to feed it a 3D texture. In this case, I'm going to feed it a solid fractal. So 3D textures, solid fractal. And then uh, I'm going to change these values a little bit so there's a little bit more contrast. Uh, in, this, in this case, uh, the values that I'm changing in the actual solid fractal are not as important as the actual uh, scaling of the texture. But let's set this to what looked okay before. Uh, let's bump that one up a little bit as well. And then what I'm going to do is, well, actually, you know what? Let's just look at it first, what it looks like, and then I can show you how you can procedurally uh, tweak this. Uh, let's change the zero value to 0.5, and let's change the amplitude, which is kind of like the magnitude, to a higher value for now, say 1.5. And let's update that. You can see, oops, let me just go back and go to my perspective view. You can see that that immediately uh, made a drastic change already, but it's still kind of flat. I mean, it tessellated it, but it's still kind of flat. So the key uh, to this is to actually change your the scale of the texture. So in this case, I'm going to start with about 50, see what that does. So the cool thing, obviously, on this is that you can just, uh, let me break, break the fracture UI, that you can just um, change your attributes and then hit uh, the update fragments and you will immediately see the changes there we go so that's what we have right now uh, you know you could obviously continue tweaking this but I want to keep this short uh, just so you know how you can set it up and there we go that looks much better already so again uh, I will show you how I set up this sim uh, from uh, start or from scratch in another tutorial but for now let's keep it at this and I hope you enjoy this feature.